Well, how do there, Charms to Zai, Captain of the Steves, and today, Charms, for you guys in the Viewerverse, we've got some No Man's Sky news. Sean of the Murrays has been at it again, people. He's only just gone and dropped an emoji, so let's jump on over to the Twitter space, and I'll show you what I mean. So here we are, Chums. I'm over on the old Twitter space, and this is the emoji that Sean Murray has posted. I don't know whether you can see that, it's quite small. I'll try zooming in, but I don't think it really increases the size of emojis all that much. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad, is it? It's actually the Dizzy emoji, but it's more of what it looks like, isn't it, really? And it's a star, and it looks like it's got some sort of, like, an ellipse that's sort of following it like a trail it's not quite a shooting star because shooting stars go straight well this is like an elliptical type one you know dizzy type sign you know spinning above your head or whatever anyway i reposted this out and um, i also put a little comment on here to say commonly used for emphasis and flair or to indicate the various positive sentiments like shooting star we already have them, so I wonder what this one is. I mean, it could just be that they're adding a load of polish and flair to all existing parts of No Man's Sky. It could just be that they're going to bottom out a few things. You know, it could simply be that. It could be. But I'd imagine there's probably going to be another expedition associated with this one if they are going for a seasonal affair when it comes to putting them out. And there's quite a few comments on here. There's one or two that I actually retweeted. I retweeted this one because I think that's freaking awesome. They've actually put that together using a load of light, light boxes by the looks of things. Freaking awesome there, Roland, I guess. And scrolling down a little bit further... And we've got ourselves one by Ray Reynolds. Now, I love this bit of artwork there that they've done with the Starborn Runner and actually cut out the sort of emoji inside of the Omega image with the Starborn Runner. And it says, No Man's Sky St Starborn. I think they might be onto something there. In fact, inside of the actual game files, when we got the Omega update, there was loosely held an actual name for the update of Star Seed or Starborn. Yeah, I'm still not 100% sure which would have actually been the true one to come to fruition there, but it, it stayed as a mega in the end. Right, jumping over to my community tab. Because this is a very much a community-driven thing and everybody in the community likes to try and guess what this all means, I said, what do you think it means? Yeah, and I've given my first thoughts, the first things that popped to my head when I saw this emoji. Star and Sun Rotation and changes to biomes. So maybe now all the planets are going to revolve around their star, like was first originally thought and conceptualized inside of No Man's Sky's pre-releases or pre-pack releases from Hello Games. They did say, you know, depending on how close a planet is to its star, depends on how the biome is going to be formed. A planet nearer to the sun is more likely to be pretty hot and barren. You know, those furthest away are supposed to be like airless and dead, you know. Or maybe birthing a new star for real at the end of the Atlas Path. We get given that choice. Do we want to birth a new star? But then we just go to a new star system, a new galaxy, which is then pretty much the same thing all over again with slight subtle changes, which aren't all that subtle. I mean, after you've gone through 10 different variants, they repeat. So it's actually 10 galaxies repeated and repeated and repeated till you get to your 256 or 255, however you want to count it or whatever. Anyways, so 15% went with that. 16% went for the actual changes to how planets rotate and things. 11% thought that it might be Starborn Runner will get real use, maybe ship racing, 11%. Starborn Expedition to end the four-part ARG, 34% of people said that one. Now, yeah, I think it could be a mixture of these two, to be honest. But yeah, anyway, just want to see the poll results. 23% of people hit that up. Now, there's quite a lot of people that have chimed in with comments on what they feel that it might be here. Some of them are pretty darn freaking awesome. Some of them I've hit up a few replies to. So this one here says, what about meaning low orbit? which means orbital stations, which could mean the space station update. And I put maybe the satellite sort of emoji might have been a little bit more apt. However, Sean of the Murrays is a cryptic Murray, isn't he? He really is a cryptic one. So, you know, it could be. It could be that. It could be that we might be getting the stations. 
you know, that, that might just be like a side hustle. Who knows? But anyway, scrolling down, there's quite a lot of um, comments here, which is pretty darn freaking lovely. And yeah, and I like these ones where they put star, sh star and then a dash. Nice one, Gregor's. Yes, heck yes. But yeah, all sorts. And Chow Lin, it says, small content update, including part four of the ARG, followed by Expedition 13. The emoji will be indirectly related to the name of the update, but have nothing to do with the content. <laughs> Little winky face. And uh, yeah, and I, I put, if you're going by patterns, then yes, you could be right on that one. So, yeah, I mean, I did say that the February update, Omega, was going to set the pace for the year. I still kind of feel that that's going to be true to form until we hit August and the summer update. And then I think we might see something a little bit more impressive and a little bit larger then. But, uh, yeah, we shall see, people. Okay, so the next poll I did is when do you think the update or expedition will drop for No Man's Sky? 45% of you think in between the 25th and to the 29th, which isn't a bad shout because then we hit the Easter bank holiday weekend. So if they do push it out next week, all those that are off school or off work because they've got kids, they've got like life and family commitments can pick up and play this expedition. And if Hello Games wants to do that free to play for the weekend and also maybe even the holiday, bank holiday weekend, they might be able to pull in a heck of a lot more punters to be jumping on board and picking up that free version of No Man's Sky to play. So I think it could be on the cards for this week if Hello Games really put their foot on the accelerator and get it out there. Can they get it out on all platforms in time for the Easter bank holiday weekend? We shall see people so yeah i think the top two options are the most highly and most highly likely and they have both been given the highest chance by the community so we're all on the same page here people so in between this week and before the end of the easter bank holiday a lot of people are thinking yes that's roughly when it's going to be the only thing that makes me think otherwise is the quicksilver store at the moment we're unlocking decals and they go in extremely slowly we haven't even unlocked the first one. It's been nearly a week. Now, we have seen Hello Games in the past just jump it from Tier 1 all the way to the end of Tier 3 and unlock those three things and give them to us before the expedition starts. Because normally when an expedition starts, the community progress swaps from the things that we're unlocking onto the actual expedition. So if this update has got an expedition tied to it, which it might not, I, I would have expected to see that as Quicksilver store items accelerated by hello games the progress i would have thought we would have been unlocking maybe the second one and halfway through it and rapidly approaching the third one if we were to see something happening this following week yeah so we will see we'll see we'll see sales need to start the steam depots etc etc well, yeah this is only one sign the emoji is one sign of many so the signs that we look for in the community is no man's sky going on sale on all platforms uh, we look for the depots being updated, experimental and internal branches. Yeah. And then we look for the emoji. And it's normally the emoji that we get last. Normally we see the other signs first. This time, perhaps not. Or sometimes we see the depots update last. But yeah, you know, normally we see the sales happen first. That's usually the telltale sign that the emojis come in. Well, the only sales that have happened is the spring sale. And that was only on Steam which has just come to an end. So there is that, we'll, we'll see what happens. Just want to see the poll results, but before the end of April, which is a very safe bet, you know, 13% have just hit that up. There's only two comments on this one, yes. Sean won't tweet an emoji early if it wasn't definitely releasing in the next few days, says Tyler Funder. Very good point, definitely coming this week, says um, King Ganja. So yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of theories out there, people feeling and speculating that this week is definitely on the cards. I would say, from a business point of view, that makes awesome sense. There is one other reason why I think maybe it might not happen. From all the other updates, we know how many bugs there are. Okay, Now, a lot of the Hello Games team are going to want to spend their Easter break with their family and friends and doing Easter shenanigans. They might not want to be in the office or remotely fixing freaking bugs. So if this does roll out at the Easter bank holiday weekend and they are on leave 
and we do experience a shed load of bugs, I wouldn't expect them to be turned around until after the Easter break, which could be rather damaging. If you think about it that way, maybe we might not see this happen until after the Easter break because of patterns with inside of bugs and, you know, f previous releases. Right, so people, last poll, I promise. <laughs> How big do you think the update will be for No Man's Sky? Just an expedition and some quality of life content. Like a mega, 35% of people have hit that one up. I guess. Same size as Outlaws, new space stations, ship classes, plus an expedition, 24%. That's the second highest there. Yes, could be a new gameplay loop space overhaul big maybe 11 percent of people are hedged their bets that way and sean said 2024 would be big with light no fire coming this could be massive nine percent have put their expectations around there i would set my expectations around this area i think that it's more highly likely to be just an update with some quality life improvements However, patterns from previous years, we had Outlaws drop in 2022 and that brought in the new pirate stations and a new ship class, you know, the solar wing ships and a few new missions that we could run from those pirate stations. I am really hoping, fingers crossed, that this year, because Sean Murray said that it's going to be bigger than previous years. Well, to start with, uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now. And I still really love it, still really enjoy it. It's going to be a big one. We'll be on par with Outlaws. I mean, we do know that new stations are coming. With those new stations, they could bring in that new ship class. We've got the, we've got the Starborn Runner, but it's actually pegged as a new class of ship, as a racing ship, a racer. So it could be that they bring in a whole new ship class. It could be the size of Outlaws. I'm keeping my expectations here, but part of me is really hoping that we see some elements of this. It might not be all of it. It might just be partial bits because I honestly think Hello Games is holding back all the juicy freaking stuff until the summer. That's what I think, okay? Anyways, let's see what you guys think inside of the old comment, shall we? Let's scroll down on here and let's have a quick look-see. If it means that planets actually orbit each other and spin on their axis whilst also orbiting its host star, I might revisit the game in VR. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, they, they could do all of that. They could bring back in the idea of planetary rotation. They did say that they removed it because it confused players. But I don't know. There's ways and means that they could make that a little bit more trackable for players, especially with the amount of waypoints and sort of markers that we have. If they added in a few new clever filters, I think we could be okay in getting back to our bases and all sorts of other stuff. I mean, heck, we teleport all the freaking time. But then it's how does Hello Games track those if they are rotating? It's... it's a... It... I don't think they are going to bring in rotational mechanics. It's It's been far too long for the game being the way that it is, for them to introduce something so that's got so much gravitas to the, how it might change the actual game mechanics. I just don't... I can't foresee that happening. I really can't. But yeah, anyway, I've told you where my expectations are on this, and I've just got one more post to go over, but it's not a poll. It's I spoke to AI. Okay, jump. So I hit up Bing, that's renamed itself to Copilot now. I don't know whether it renamed itself or the developers did, but here we go. I said, hello, Copilot. Sean Murray often posts an emoji when there'll be an update for No Man's Sky. He just posted this emoji. This little slight, swirly, starry one. The community likes to speculate what might be coming. I think it might be Starborn and linked to the new ship we got called the Starborn Runner. Or maybe planets will orbit their stars now. Yeah, just chucked it out there. That's the two ends of the spectrum, basically. What do you think it might mean? And this is what Copilot come back with. I honestly think they've tweaked Copilot because the actual inflections on the way that it talks almost feels like you're talking to another freaking human. It's, it's scarily good. Ah, the agnam the agnamic emoji. Sean Murray's cryptic hints always set the No Man's Sky community. A buzz with speculation. Let's embark on the cosmic voyage of imagination, shall we? Heck yes! He's right on my... I want to say he, he, she, whatever this thing is, the AI. Here are a few whimsical interpretations. Lovely! Yes. 
Starborn revelations. Perhaps the universe is birthing something new. A celestial event. A cosmic phenomenon. Or hidden star systems waiting to be discovered. The starborn mockia suggests a celestial genius. Like a cosmic nursery where stars twinkle into existence. Phenomenon. 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 <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself whenever I hear the word phenomenon. That's what happens in my head. Interstellar travel. The Starborn Runner ship could be a sleek vessel designed for interstellar sprints. Picture it, a ship that glides effortlessly between star systems, leaving stardust trails in its wake. Maybe it's time for No Man's Sky Explorers to dash across the galactic finish line. Ship racing. <laughs> yeah, lovely. And here we go. Orbiting planets, imagine planets gracefully pirouetting around their suns. If this emoji heralds planetary orbits, it would revolutionise the game. Is it too late for that revelation though? You know what I'm saying. No longer static planets would dance in elliptical waltzes, tide and ebbing and flowing as they twirl. A stellar ballot awaits. Yes, you know, if they are sort of doing all the galaxy rotation, they could give a water overhaul. They could make it so it's a little bit, you know, better when it comes to waves and things and stuff like that. I'm trying to zoom in as, as much as I can, people. Here we go. Okay, we've got this one. Cosmic Mysteries. The, the, the emoji could signify cosmic anomalies, wormholes, black holes, or rifts in space-time. Perhaps Sean Murray is teasing a rift that leads to an alternate dimension. The void and the realm of glass. It wasn't me that speculated it this time. AI has put that idea on the frickin' table. Thank you, AI where procedurally generated wonders awaits. We all know that they want to push the wonders catalogue and what a way to do it if they did. Brace yourself for the unknown. Oh, I hope it's Cosmic Mysteries. Be Cosmic Mysteries! I want Cosmic Mysteries. Heck yes. Remember in the vast expanse of No Man's Sky, anything is possible. Whether it's stellar relations, a ship with wings of stardust, or planets pirouetting like Cosmic's ballerinas, the journey continues. I love the fact that they've actually pulled in some of the quotes from the old Murray verse. Keep your exosuit charged, fellow traveller, and let the stars guide you. It's freaking awesome. And that was by a freaking AI. Love it. Freak it's, it's exciting AI, but it's also quite scary just how scarily good it's getting so freaking rapidly. I remember very sort of generic answers, but this is tailored and crafted and... Oh, it's brilliant. Sorry, but it is, isn't it? Anyway, so that's pretty much everything I've got for you on this, people inside of the Viewerverse. There's an update coming for No Man's Sky. It's going to be coming in between now and the end of April. What it's going to contain is anyone's guess, and the guessing is the fun part. For me at this stage, anyway. I don't want to overly set expectations or hype or anything around that sort of thing. I like to go by a little bit of my own gut feeling on stuff. And also a little bit of what we've seen in game and what we're seeing coming into fruition and hints and things that Sean Murray has put out there. He has shared quite a lot of images as of late, mainly of, you know, the new autophage race and the staffs and all that sort of stuff with majestic backdrops. But he's been doing that since we had sort of, you know, the ability to create autophages. So that it's not much you can read into other than the four part arc is still running. We haven't had any conclusive confirmation from Sean Murray or Hello Games that the fourth part of that ARG arc has been delivered into the verse. So I honestly think that we're going to get a little bit of lore tied into this. It's going to push that narrative forwards. Is it going to be the end part of the ARG arc? I think if they make this the size of Outlaws and maybe chuck in that little extra bit of story like they did with the Outlaws update, you know, with the, the voice of freedom and all that sort of shenanigans, it could quite easily be the end of the fourth part arc and it could be that we could be in for an excited ride when it comes to the expeditions the reason i say that is because the last expedition that we had the omega sort of expedition we got the new console inside of the space anomaly where we can run the expedition from and we can take things with us on those expeditions it didn't feel like we overly needed to do too much of that in the last expedition it was fairly straightforward, but I think they basically gave us a basic expedition, mainly just to test this. 
And I think they've done it to test it because they want to give us more of a challenge when it comes to these expeditions for this next one, if it is going to be the end part of the, um, the four-part ARG. So I'm hoping for something a little bit special when it comes to the actual expedition. I don't think it's going to be as basic as the last expedition we had, and I think it's going to be more lore and narrative driven. That's what my gut feeling is telling me, people. And I'm also wondering whether we're going to get a way to actually traverse to another realm, like the Realm of Glass or the Void. But this has been on the cards, and this has been boiling to like a climax over many, many a year. And I think they're going to hold that back until the summer update. And I think the summer update is where we might see entry points to the void and the realm of glass. So it might be that we get the pathing putting for it, but we might actually go there. It's like back in yesteryear, we could see these giant portals appearing over planets. We've looked, you know, all the stones leading up to them and pathways either side. It definitely looked like it was going to be a working portal, but they didn't make them actually work. For some time after they were delivered into game i think it's going to be something along those lines maybe we might get hints that it's either going to be black holes the boundary failures or some other means of entering into the void perhaps even through the new space station shells maybe there's going to be a new console in there that actually makes the whole space station jump to another dimension maybe using the station override maybe we've already seen it with the station core Maybe we've already got that blueprint sitting right there, if that is the case, people. But anyways, I digress. Speculate as much as you like, but just don't run away with the fairies on this one. Don't sort of make it grab you and go, oh, we're definitely getting ship customization or anything like that. I mean, I haven't really hinted at that at all. But at the same time, I would try to keep your expectations in check with this one because I've been burnt a few times by overhyping my own expectations and perhaps even some people out there in the viewerverse have run away with me on this one slightly in the past. But yeah, going by patterns and buying what we've seen, I think it's going to be an expedition with some quality life improvements. And it might have, it might have a couple of bells and whistles. Um, um, it might be the size of Outlaws. I don't think it's going to be anywhere bigger than Outlaws is what I'm saying. Okay. All right, people. Salute to Mondo. Take care for now. Goodbye. Goodbye. And goodbye again.